Welcome back, fitness enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into an intriguing topic that often sparks debate in the fitness community, the difference between lightweight and heavyweight exercises. Are you unsure about which approach is right for you? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm your host, and in this video, we'll break down the benefits and considerations of both lightweight and heavyweight exercises. So, let's get started. Let's begin with lightweight exercises. These exercises are commonly associated with muscular endurance and toning. They typically involve using lighter weights, resistance bands, or bodyweight exercises. Lightweight exercises allow you to focus on performing higher repetitions, which helps increase endurance, burn calories, and improve cardiovascular health. One of the key advantages of lightweight exercises is that they are less likely to cause injury, making them suitable for beginners or individuals recovering from injuries. They also provide an excellent option for those looking to tone their muscles without necessarily bulking up. Additionally, lightweight exercises are perfect for individuals targeting specific muscle groups or working on muscular imbalances. Now, let's move on to heavyweight exercises. These exercises emphasize strength and muscle development. They typically involve lifting heavier weights, such as barbells or dumbbells, with lower repetitions. Heavyweight exercises require more effort and engage the muscles to a greater extent. Lightweight and heavyweight exercises differ in terms of the load or resistance used during the exercise. The distinction between these two types of exercises affects the goals, benefits, and physiological adaptations associated with each approach. Here's an overview of the key differences between lightweight and heavyweight exercises. 1. Load or Resistance Lightweight exercises involve using relatively lighter loads or resistance. These loads are typically within a range that allows for high repetitions, example 12 to 20 repetitions, before experiencing fatigue or muscle failure. Heavyweight exercises, on the other hand, require lifting or moving heavier loads or resistance. These loads are usually challenging and limit the number of repetitions that can be performed, example 1 to 8 repetitions, before reaching muscle failure. 2. Muscle endurance versus muscle strength. Lightweight exercises primarily focus on muscle endurance. The goal is to perform multiple repetitions without extreme fatigue, stimulating the muscles to become more efficient at sustaining prolonged contractions. This helps improve endurance, muscular tone, and stamina. Heavyweight exercises primarily target muscle strength. The emphasis is on lifting heavier loads, which activates the muscle fibers responsible for generating maximum force. This type of training promotes increases in muscle strength, power, and size. 3. Metabolic Response Lightweight exercises tend to produce a higher metabolic response due to the longer duration of the exercise and increased repetitions. This can result in improved cardiovascular fitness, calorie burn, and fat loss. Heavyweight exercises create a greater demand for anaerobic energy systems, leading to an elevated metabolic rate during and after the workout. This can enhance muscle growth and development while also contributing to a modest increase in calorie expenditure. For Joint Impact and Injury Risk Lightweight exercises are generally considered lower impact and carry a lower risk of joint stress or injury. They are often recommended for individuals who are new to exercise, recovering from an injury, or have joint-related concerns. Heavyweight exercises place greater stress on the joints, ligaments, and tendons due to the higher load. Proper form, technique, and gradually increasing the weights are crucial to minimize the risk of injury. 5. Training Objectives Lightweight exercises are commonly employed for toning muscles, improving muscular endurance, cardiovascular health, and overall fitness levels. They are often incorporated into circuit training, high repetition workouts, or as part of a weight loss program. Heavyweight exercises are typically utilized for increasing muscle mass, strength, power, and athletic performance. They are commonly associated with traditional weightlifting, powerlifting, and strength training programs. 1. Heavyweight training Heavyweight training involves lifting weights that are close to your maximum capacity for a given exercise. Here are some key points to consider. A. Muscle recruitment 
lifting heavy weights activates a higher number of muscle fibers, leading to greater muscle recruitment. This can result in significant gains in muscle size and strength. B. Progressive overload. Heavy weights provide a greater stimulus for muscle growth by imposing a higher level of stress on the muscles. This helps promote progressive overload, a fundamental principle of muscle hypertrophy. C. Central nervous system, CNS, adaptation. Heavy weight training also challenges the central nervous system, enhancing neural adaptations and improving overall strength. D. Limited repetitions. Due to the intensity of heavy weight training, the number of repetitions performed is typically lower. This can be beneficial for building raw strength and power. 2. Light weight training. Light weight training involves using lighter loads, typically below 50% of your 1 repetition maximum, 1 RM. Here are some key points to consider. A. Muscle endurance. Light weight training focuses on endurance and muscular stamina rather than maximum strength. It allows for higher repetitions and longer sets, targeting muscle endurance and metabolic stress. B. Muscular definition. Light weight training is often associated with higher repetitions, which can help increase muscle definition and tone. It may be more suitable for individuals aiming for a leaner, more sculpted appearance. See joint health and injury prevention. Light weights can be less taxing on joints, making them a safer option for those with joint issues or injuries. They allow for improved form, reducing the risk of injury during exercise. D. Active recovery. Light weight training can also serve as a form of active recovery, allowing muscles to heal and repair without placing excessive stress on the body. Ultimately, the choice between lightweight and heavyweight exercises depends on your fitness goals, preferences, and individual circumstances. Remember to consult with a fitness professional or trainer to tailor your workout routine to your specific needs and abilities. It's important to note that both lightweight and heavyweight exercises have their place in a well-rounded fitness routine. The choice between them depends on individual goals, fitness level, and specific training objectives. A balanced approach that incorporates both types of exercises can provide a comprehensive range of benefits. That concludes our exploration of the differences between lightweight and heavyweight exercises. I hope this video has provided you with valuable insights to make informed decisions about your fitness journey. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel for more fitness content, and leave a comment down below sharing your favorite type of exercise. Stay fit and healthy, everyone! Until next time.